Let's talk about her elimination. You made a bridal change on her and she seemed to really respond to it well. Yeah, I've been trying to keep her quiet for for basically two years since she's been racing and um, I, she's been waiting and it's been bothering me. So I just decided this is the best night to try this. So I wanted to try the blind bridal and just and let her go completely closed. And, and um, I was really, really, really happy with her. She fought right to the wire this week and that was what I wanted to see. What did uh, David say about that? He said that it was a good time for her to get good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, a perfect weekend for it to happen. Um, so how did she come out of the race? Yeah, she came out of it really well. She's been pretty steady. I mean, she's she's actually a pleasure to be around. So she's she's um, she's steady as she comes. I've been just trying to tweak it a little bit. So she's good. So she was able to, you know, draw post one through six. She ended up with four. What is a, a strength of hers she's going to be able to use off the gate? Well, she that's exactly it. She can go either way, but she does have that gate speed and the tactical gate speed, and she can kind of come back if she needs to to race off the off the pace then he can do that and um i think that's her biggest strength is that the, she is versatile and that she does have quick quick step right off the gate so you, you won the hamiltonian but i read you were always a philly trainer you love your phillies you want to win this race what would it mean to you to win this race it, a lot because it's on the bucket list and it's one that uh, like i said i love my phillies I've, I've been training phillies like really my first good horse was pace and phillies and and um, I just like them. I always I tell my help that you whisper to a filly and you can yell at a colt. But, um, but in her case, um, you know, when you get lucky enough to win the Hamiltonian, which is the pinnacle, it, it almost feels wrong if, if I didn't get a chance to, to. I have barely raced in the mm -hmm. in the Oaks. I think right. we were thinking about it. I think I raced two in the Oaks: Funny Valentine and maybe Grill Now, and and that was it. So it'd be fun. In the whole, you know, week leading up to the Hamiltonian, it's all, you know, all systems go, you know, nothing really changes, but it's still a busy week as a trainer. How do you feel going into the day? Yeah, well, fortunately, I've been doing it a long time, and I've and now I kind of just enjoy the experience, and I kind of keep my head in the game. I mean, back then, I used to let the pressure of the big race get in my head, and uh, now I just kind of just go about my business and do what we need to do, and and give her a good week and give her the week that I think she should have as far as her, her exercise and her training is concerned and and, um, and do it. And then at the same time, enjoy the experience. It's fun for the owners and you know it's a big day for them also. And uh, this is a good group. They've been with me for a very long time. And, and uh, so it'd be fun to see her go out there and do what she has to do. Best of luck on Saturday. Thanks, Jess.